Hi, this is Nemesis, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Halo. We're playing a solid control, cold troll room, and today with me are Lord Funky Fist. Sup, bitches. And Surf Wax America. Bitches, sup. And I would have been your daddy, but the dog beat me over the fence. That's what this section is called. As far as I can go. Huh. That. We'll be able to find our way That's to the interesting. From here. Yeah. I never knew my daddy. <laughs> Oh, and right there, there's a little glitch that it well not glitch, but if you get, you can actually get right back in the pelican, but then it flies off and eventually you die because it goes into the death zone. <laughs> so, so do the people it. inside there die too? Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I just got on that shade turret just oh. to show it. Oh. So since so since I've missed some of these, how far along are you since this is about the... halfway into the game? Oh, I see that it's like a 40 minute video. I'm like, oh man, this is. This is the entire game. game. Yeah. <laughs> the game can be in 40 minutes. That's unheard of. Uh, now I'm going to go look and see what the record is for the fastest run of Halo. Because it was pretty fast. That's a tech. I know, like, the fastest run through Halo 2 was like three hours on Legendary. Hmm. Shooting some grunts and jackals and yep. So, uh, since I've never played the first game, just what exactly are you trying to do here now? Uh, just, just find the control room for Halo, and yeah, before the Covenant can get control of it. So, we're as close as we can be, and now we have to walk walk the rest of the way. So you gotta take control of the game? <laughs> the, the ring. <laughs> the ring world Halo. So it's like... I'm confused. That's so meta. Oh, stealth bit. Sleeping grunts. What are those things? They're sleeping. Not it. Okay. I was wondering why you were hitting them. You keep doing anything. They didn't do anything. To you. I would think it'd be a better idea to sleep in the turret, not outside of it. Yeah. I didn't think there were any. Well, their grunts are stupid. No. Is the rest of the level just this? No. Nope. <laughs> I thought it would have been hilarious. Just the entire 39 minutes just be just you <laughs> hitting people in the back with their pistols. Well, that's because they said shenanigans. It's <laughs> Parva. all the goofy shit on the wall. You mean shenanigans? <laughs> Say car ramrod. <laughs> you are freaking out. Man. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Gold leave with a sword is never good. <laughs> so take him out with a pistol, that's the best way to go. Yeah, because that way he stays back. <laughs> then where do I get close to him anyway? Just cause you can. Mm-hmm. Like a boss. So where does John Madden come in? Uh... <laughs> later. Is he one of, he one of the grunts? Yes. <laughs> is he the final boss? The, the final boss is Mon Jadden. Wouldn't that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be an awesome twist if it was John Madden all along? In like oh, any right. game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's any... Like the, the new season of My Little Pony. Call of Duty turns out Mac Rob John Madden was fine. I just like to imagine that like, you're looking through a sniper scope with that handgun right now. Practically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, there's any that your visor is the scope. Actually, that's more or less correct. Yeah. <laughs> that's how things work in the future. Time. That's a lot of dead grunts. Yep. 
on here. I just went around because well, I made sure to go get a new gun because oh that one was just a little too little bit lower than the ammo on this one. So obviously I had to replace it. Obviously. <laughs> so is Halo shaped like a halo? Yes. How is, that they... <laughs> is that why they, why they call it Halo? Yes. And they named the game Halo? Yes. Huh. Fun fact, the uh, game was when it was being worked on, it was called Blam. Wham? Blam. Blam. <laughs> and so, before that, sure. it's actually called sure Monkey Nuts. <laughs> So then, if, it, if the game was called Blam, would the whole point have been to go look for the control room for Blam? Yes. <laughs> yeah, before it was called uh, Blam, it's called Monkey Nuts. Huh. And they changed it just because the lead design, the lead guy, Jason Joes, couldn't bear to tell his mother he was working on something called Monkey Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine how how this game would have been different today if it was just went with Monkey Nuts. <laughs> monkey Nuts would be used to. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey Nuts Wars. Oh. Monkey Nuts Reach? <laughs> <laughs> what do they reach for? And then Monkey Nuts Anniversary and just... So was this the first game they worked on, or was this, were there, did they do other games before Halo? Oh, no, this was like, there was a lot of games. They did Marathon, they did Pathways into Darkness, they did Myth, uh, Oni. Oh, uh, yeah. I think Oni was the only one I rec remember. Huh. They, they were, they, they're, yeah, they were celebrating the 20th anniversary this year, so they've been around since 91. Oh, uh, but just, I guess this was just the... This was the like, they to put them on the map. <laughs> Yeah, because before they, yeah, for a while they were like Mac exclusive, so it was like no one cared. <laughs> Who cares about Mac? Except Fusion. Yeah, well, Fusion. Who cares about Fusion? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, there it goes, throw a grenade for, you know, very badly. So, at this game, the handgun's still one of the better, better weapons to wield? Yep. <laughs> I, I mean, earlier in a video, uh, in the second level, I took down a banshee with this stupid thing. Who's with me? Was is anybody in this game? Who's with me? Who's with me? Uh. Let's do this! Yeah, look, I got a rocket launcher. Lead rock! Oh, shit. Oh, boy, that's a, a really that's a really shiny looking sniper rifle. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I forgot how... How fun textures were back in the early era. Oh, yeah. Leroy Jenkins. It's a lion, get in the car! <laughs> <laughs> it's a grunt, get in the car. Wait. Wait. It's Wait. Not, <laughs> that's not worth getting in the car for. What is if you want to run him over? Who's, who's driving this? Me. Are you really driving it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was gonna say. Way to go! <laughs> This is the AI, then holy shit. <laughs> no, the AI is terrible. Well, in the first game, the AI can't drive. In the second game, they finally get them to drive, but they're terrible at it. So no one's gonna bother. So then, like, at that point, like, all the AI are just, like, standing around the vehicle just waiting for you to go in. <laughs> just, Basically. Like, like, seven, eight guys. You know we can't drive, man. It's... You know. We told you, bro. They never covered the basic training. What the hell? I got out of the Warhog just to take out the Wraith right there. Which Wraith is a Covenant tank which basically acts as a mortar. Huh. Which you can't what? drive. Now what about and what about the shooting right now? Is that you or That is the uh Like that? Marine. That's AI. Nice oh, no, I know I know that, but yeah, it's AI doing it. Like, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to drive and shoot like that thing. Oh, but that's what I was thinking. But... <laughs> He's like, damn, you're really good. I, I've actually I've played games before that like you drive and shoot at the same time, and it just kind of has like an auto lock feature. So yeah, this you don't need to aim. Oh, that was nice. Don't kill back there with the grunt. <laughs> just, <Ow. laughs> just did a nice little 360 and hit him with the rear end of the uh, of the warthog. 
Like I said, if, I said if you just type into that, the best yeah. the best way to take the enemies out is to do the slide into them because they tend to dive out of the way. So you drive out to the side, they dive all the way, and then you you know slide out the back end. Now I'm on ice, so it's actually sliding around on ice, so it's actually pretty hard to control this stupid thing. Acts like acts like ice. One novel concept, huh? Huh. Is your guy actually even killing anybody? Or... Oh yeah, trust me, he's killing people. Yeah, because I know, like, the experience with first-person shooters, like your supporting ca uh, uh, members don't really do shit. Mm, yeah. Well, like, they'll shoot a lot, but rarely get actually kill anybody. Yeah. Well, the, I guess the friendly AI is kind of competent sometimes. Not usually though. <laughs> the thing is, I know why a lot of games do that. It's basically they don't want to get if the AI, AI, friendly AI is too competent, then they're doing they... stuff before you do. So it's kind of you're just kind of walking through. Yeah. So. If that was the case, then Ramirez would pretty much be useless in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Getting in the tank. How many treads oh, does a tank yeah. need? Jeez. A lot. I'm not sure if that's an actual good design choice, but... Four tanks. Four for treads. One for each passenger, apparently. Yep. So your partners don't regenerate their health? Nope. Uh, you don't either. You you only regenerate shields. They don't oh, have shields, okay. so... Well, I mean, they, you know, they, they, they don't... Re oh, so that's their health, not their shields. Yeah, they don't have shields, because they're just marines. Oh, one of them already died. Yep. <laughs> All because of that stupid tank. Oh, I said, just use the tank as a battering ram. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a really big dive. Yep. Yeah, one of the, the first in, first version I recorded of this level before I had to redo it. Oh, oh shit. An elite actually just rolled right off one of the bridges. <laughs> okay. okay, then. This is a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, but this point is gonna just gape up. Yeah, you can kind of snipe with the tank, so he's oh, <laughs> gotta not miss. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> See, the the key to uh, the key to sniping is to not miss. <laughs> <laughs> See, I explain things so well. I was thinking about going back, and then nah, I'll just keep going forward. That's why I ran into a wall. Mm, they just forgot about you anyway, so. And I guess your passengers were too incompetent to get off and pull, pull, <laughs> pull the switch, so... They can't drive the tank, the least they could do is get off and do stuff with... Yeah... Uh. Oh... Clearly this wasn't designed for a tank to go through. Just... Just <laughs> corridors. No kill like I have to kill. You should drive off the edge. Uh, I may have actually done that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't show it though. Did you die? Yes. Because I kind of <laughs> slid a little bit off the edge and I'm trying to get back on and just keep sliding further. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it's it kind of like slowly tilting off the edge. I'm like, no. <laughs> it was like five minutes of just reversing and. <laughs> Until eventually you just gave up and it just fell. Oh, no. So the you're firing the main tank and everyone else is firing the side guns or what? They're just firing their own guns, whatever they have. So one of them's got a oh. sniper, the one's got a assault rifle. Oh. I've okay. got a, and also I got a. I think this thing's got a 50 cal turret, turret on it as well as the main gun. Oh. Okay. I'm seeing other gunshots, but I don't know if 
they have like, their own turrets or seems kind of I don't, know, I don't know if that's a really good idea to have a sniper rifle inside a tank but uh, I guess it gives you cover for it Um, I do, yeah, and late, yeah, and, and so in Halo 1, the driver controls both the main gun and the 50 cal. In Halo 3 forward, they separate them out so someone else has to control the turret, and they're almost back right off the edge. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a rather bad design choice. Right over the ground. No real yeah. strategy there. Just keep driving. Just keep driving through it. Nice. Yeah, I just kind of did that out of spite. The guy's already <laughs> dead, but you know what? <laughs> your your teammates seem to like it though. Oh yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, it's nice. kind of annoying. If you're not fast enough to get back on the tank, they drop jump off with you. Like, oops. Let's do this! Oh fuck! <laughs> Rolling thunder. Cause I did. You like that? Don't get cocky. So what was the point of going down in there just now? Uh, you're just trying to get through. It's the okay. best path through. Duh. <laughs> you couldn't just go around on the surface? Nope, you don't have any air. You don't okay. have air? Air support. Oh. Or, oh. Yeah, and I park right on top of a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the thing was, it barely affected me, but it killed a Moment of silence in his honor. No, okay, moving on. <laughs> so, how long does this tank level part last? Just um, I think after, pretty quickly after this is once over. Is it more stealth? Or? A little bit, but then it's more just shooting shit. <laughs> and I guess that was, yeah. Which is surprisingly common in first person shooter. Hmm. It's not like it's in the title or anything of the genre. <laughs> shooting in first person shooters? Hmm. What madness is this? By the way, I did take out that ghost. I wasn't sure. I was like, did I take it out? So I talked sitting. I'm like, I was waiting for it to come around the corner. I was like, where is it? And then, oh, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> sure, the other passengers just getting impatient. And here should be yep, invisible elite with a sword. Oh shoot! Honestly, what's the point of being invisible when your weapon isn't invisible? <laughs> I know. I've always wondered about that. Nice shot. <laughs> I was about to shoot, and then they decided to run in front of me. So it's like, oh. Or maybe they were just expecting that for Master Chief to think that there's a haunted uh, a, a sword fl uh, floating around, and he'll just get scared and run away. Oh fuck! My only weakness. Yeah, but when you get the invisibility, your weapon turns invisible too. So. Yeah, usually it does. Yeah, but this, well, yeah, there's a there's some collision detection. For some reason it, it seems, seems to think I'm hitting the tree. <laughs> Can't hide from me. So even though it's spot on, it didn't count. Uh, I wasted a whole bunch of ammo. Just trying to kill that tree. 
Fucking trace! Take this, Greenpeace! Yeah, I'm about to go back to the tank, but... Waiting for them. Can't leave without my tank. <laughs> You've been through so much stuff together. Yeah, this is the only level in Halo 1 where you get a tank. Huh. I'm waiting for the other Marine. You can see his yellow dot on the motion tracker. There he is. Give me a moment, I'm coming. I got this. Restroom break, sorry. <laughs> I can relate with that. <laughs> oh, and I just, yeah, Hunter, dead. <laughs> Bleak, dead. I love the tank so much. There should be more tanks in every game. I know. At this point, you just gotta wonder if they're just wonder realizing that everything that they're doing is pretty much just useless to the tank. <laughs> I mean, if at all, I guess you might kill the passengers, but no way in hell you're gonna kill the tank or Master Chief. Nope. Yeah, especially since in Halo 1, human vehicles are invincible. <laughs> Literally, they are invincible. And then, oop, oh, killed a Marine, ran right into him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that marine in front of me, so I started to move forward and killed him too. Yeah, it's Master Chief, it's okay, we'll let it slide. I do know if you start killing too many marines, the others will turn on you eventually. <laughs> I like how you say eventually, you gotta kill like 50 of them before they're like, hey, he's killing a lot of us. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that, although it's funny, in the Halo, I didn't show this in the first level, I should have probably have. Um, if you kill the, if you just kind of go back with your pistol and then shoot the captain, all of a sudden it locks the bridge up and all of a sudden a whole bunch of invincible marines come out and kill you. Because <laughs> you killed the captain. I'm surprised they actually let you do that. Sure that you like, just um, break the glass and breach the hole and just kill everybody inside. Oops. Mistake. <laughs> The windows just crack in, like, what did you do? He's just shrugging, like, eh. Oh. Funny. <laughs> oh, Ninja's the invisible guy. Other invisible guy. <laughs> they just gotta turn to, like, what was that? <laughs> was Frank always dead? <laughs> I think so. I guess this is a Come down, uh. <laughs> Yeah, fuck er this, I'm out. Everybody okay? Oh, you're all dead. Uh, well, I better get out of here. Yeah, and of course, they ran right into him, so... Yeah, now my invisibility's running off, so... It's just so funny seeing, like, footage now from the sniper rifle after playing... Like Halo Rage after like the multiplayer just saying just like this semi-automatic sniper rifle with no like no recoil or red, uh, reticle sway or anything. Yeah. Just... <laughs> oh, here's me. Yeah, this is one one playthrough I did fire way too close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I imagine what would happen. Yeah, you die. Oh. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, hit the tree right there. That was a perfect shot and hit the tree. Because apparently tree tree leaf, leaves are invincible. That's how it always is. That was a lot. So yeah, no more tank for the rest of the game, unfortunately. Nothing but snipers and rockets from here on out. I think I do switch back to a pistol again eventually. <laughs> you have to.
to pick it up or do you just have it just so I pick it up. Oh. Yeah, you know, only two weapons at a time. Oh. oh, more stealth. <laughs> I'm trying to understand what the melee is with the sniper rifle. It's like you're like stomping them or grinding them or I don't get uh, it. hitting them with the butt of the weapon. <laughs> oh yeah, there. I just yeah. That, did you see that for a brief second? The corpse just flipped out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wish I paid didn't pay more attention when I was recording this, because then that would have been pretty weird, and funny to watch. I don't know what it is. I have this obsessive need to like hit every single sleeping grunt as in my path. So it doesn't matter. Even if I can go by them without doing anything, I still have to punch them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the game kind of encourages you anyway. Hi. <laughs> He did a good job of guarding that elevator. Yeah, don't fuck with the Master Chief. <laughs> Especially when he has a rocket launcher in close quarter combat. Some more hot pistol action. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ain't getting enough of that sexy pistol. I mean, what? Oh, what were we talking about again? <laughs> Ponies. Oh. Oh yeah, we're talking about Colts. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. Did he just die shooting his weapon? What the? Yeah, sometimes, you know, they'll die and the weapon will keep shooting as they fall over. Oh. Like, you know, their, tri their finger hit the trigger as they died. You know, it's like in real life. Yeah. Although, there has, been, there has been once or twice, I think, where, especially in Legendary, where, like, I killed a guy as he's shooting, though, as he's dying, he shoots and kills me. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, fail melee. <laughs> Everybody just did that with a sniper rifle as he's going down, just shoots you with it as he's dying. That's happened in multiplayer to me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Isn't this wall so interesting? <laughs> I know. You should zoom in and look at it more. I want to count the pixels on the texture. So. Oh, that was a really good design choice to have a hole through your shield. Uh, yeah, it's just me. Yeah, I think the idea was that that's where their gun goes. But then that's also where you can shoot through, so. Yeah. Uh, Oh, There's flaws in it. They're just gonna be shooting at their shield, and it's like, oh. Yeah, it's still annoying though. I hate jackals just because of that. It'll take forever because you gotta get them there to like move their shield a bit or something. <laughs> or just do that. <laughs> <laughs> one map epic battle going on. Just, him just rolling out of the way. Missing your melees. Yep. Yeah, that was... Weird. And the grunts are still just as annoying. Yep. I don't know. 
Oh. The scary flicking light. <laughs> I think I'm trying to make sure I don't get seen. But anyway, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'm fucking that Master Chief bitch, I don't give a crap. <laughs> nah, at least it's running. No! <laughs> Oh, it's pistol and rockets. <laughs> oh. No, you should have grabbed the sniper rifle and gone around doing 360 no scopes. Uh, yeah, just like every 12 year old. <laughs> yeah. And the entire time, these yeah. are just looking at you, just like spinning in circles, just shooting and trying to hit them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, probably. Okay, we're most of the way through already. We're three quarters of the way through. <laughs> Not bad. That's another thing about no mother shields. Their shields deflect the stupid grenades. Oh. Does he mean deflect the sticky grenades? Yeah, it's flex the sticky grenades, so it just bounces off. So either you have, yeah, you, you, what you usually have to do with grenades, you have to throw behind them. Uh. Here's me being obsessive about health again. No, it doesn't really make sense. And you have to throw it behind them, so you know they're just standing there, and then it blows up right behind them, or they're not shielded. Hmm. More stealth. It's the final boss, just one big stealth. He just sneak up on him and kill him. Wait, where the no, there's no really kind of kind of boss fights in here, right? Or just uh, not in Halo One. Bunch, just a bunch of shootouts. Yeah, in Halo One there's no boss fights. Uh, in Halo Two, and uh, there is a few. <laughs> Actually, when it's boss fights in Halo Two, and a lot of the fan base, you know, hated it. And it's funny, so in Halo 3 they removed the boss fights and then people complained, where are the boss fights? It's like, you just can't win. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> just like the Zelda fan base. Yeah, I uh, think much about every fan base is hard to please. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I've just seen a you know, Zelda fan base, they hate Wind Waker, because it's all cartoony and shit. And then, you know, Twilight Princess comes out and suddenly Wind Waker is the best Zelda game ever. It's like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> you should totally do a... Halo that's so shaded like that. I saw someone for Halo P did a mod for Halo PC that made Halo cell shaded. It was pretty cool. Hmm. Did it also flood the world and you had to go around on cell boats and. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. oh well, maybe someday. Halo 3 actually they kind of had a final boss, but he's kind of a just more of a fan service, not really that hard boss. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do kind of like boss kind of fights with first person shooters anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, they so complained when there was a boss, and they complained when there wasn't a boss. It's just. Sometimes as I swear it's Bungie just can't win, no matter what they change, someone's gonna bitch about it. I know there was kinda of someone like the like Gears of War games and <laughs> Boy, this for more than that, like I thought like the video messed up, like you're going to going to like the exact same place again, but Nope. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's one of the problems of the the later. Some of these levels, like particularly this one, it gets very repetitive. <laughs> well. And then I missed twice in a row. 
Go me. One, you weren't even that close. <laughs> Undetected. Until they find all the bodies, anyway. You would think a seven foot man in like armor would kind of make some noise. They would hear them coming, but I don't know. Nice thing about the invisible elites, they don't have any shielding. So they're actually pretty easy to take down compared to other elites if you hmm. see them. Yeah. But you just gotta look for the shimmering. Just melee randomly. Oh, yeah, well, that won't help with the sword elite though, because if they're getting close, well, you're kind of screwed. Oh, and you guys, yeah, you guys haven't seen it yet, but how, this kind of shows how powerful the pistol is. These are probably this is, these are like supposed to be like these big hard guys to defeat. And yeah, single Two pistol shot. One shot to the back killed him. That first one missed. Oh, that was like one shot to bring down the shield, and then like second shot to finish him off. Nope, it's just oh. one shot to the back will bring him down. Yeah, you, you oh. guys haven't seen that yet, but. I showed that off in an earlier video. <sighs> kind of ridiculous. Oh. That's pretty, yeah, we're almost to the end. Probably Don't worry, guys. One shot too. Yeah. It's funny because actually, uh, I remember on Legendary, um, Hunters, those big blue guys were actually take two rockets to take down, but they still take the single pistol shot. <laughs> nice balancing there, Bungie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a super weapon. What would oh. you do with a super weapon? Throw it away because I have the pistol. <laughs> Oh, Funky, the pistol is a super weapon. Oh, blew the Banshee off the edge. <laughs> Here's the thing, you're supposed to cross the bridge and go across in the next door, but if you're fast enough... Oh, yeah, look, I got a Banshee. The game's like, hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. So, yeah, this, yeah, you're supposed to climb up in this big battle towards to get to the final bit, this control room. I actually get right back in, because I'm too close when I try to reload the pistol. And yeah, I just kind of skip all that crap. <laughs> I love this music right here. <laughs> Sounds of the grunt screaming. Yep. That's all I. Did it? Did the one really just yell down in front? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, These things, they just want you to hate these things. It's funny because the fan base loves them. Well, what else do you yell when you throw a grenade? True, I guess. Fire in the hole. No, they're wacky aliens. It bees, I guess, all age groups. Like Jar Jar Binks for the kids, you know. The funny thing was, initially, what they were doing, that those high pitched voices came about because they're short because they're designed so that you know, for easy, easy guy to headshot. You don't have to lift the reticle up, to headshot them. And then the voices came about because yeah. they were just using marine voices initially Covenant forces to, um, have been eliminated. just to test the Let's audio stuff. And, and they, what they did, so they wouldn't confuse them with marines, they just pitched them up. And then they thought, that they thought okay, that's actually kind of funny, so they decided to just do that normally. Very funny. That would have been really interesting just to be playing this and like they all have like the gruff marine voices. <laughs> <laughs> Down in front! <laughs> Playtime's over. Oh. Welcome to die. No, or we just basically have Jason state them, just voice all the grunts. <laughs> With a little Vin Diesel as a cameo. So I guess this. That was wrong! That was wrong! That oh my god! Oh. <laughs> So all you do is press the ball, okay. Dude, Never been you're changing better. colors, man. <laughs> Freaking out, man. Glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? 
Let's stay focused. Hey, Why is he snapping? He said, did you like forget to buy milk or something? <laughs> it's like, oh, I forgot to go buy the grocery store after this. Something much more important. So. The covenant will rise. This ring. It's forerunner. Give me a second to access. Plot exposition. <laughs> yes, the forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to. Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? No, just some sexy looking eyes. <laughs> not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. Yeah. Isn't no that what he, how you always get out of things? Here, find keys to stop him. Before anyway. it's too late. So this is bye. the end of the video. We he had to go, we gotta go. So bye everyone. I love you. I love bye. you all. I love you.